What's going on YouTube? Dave here from SignalWarrant.com. Hey, so tonight I'm going to show you how I use a, three functions to export the help, convert the help from text files to PDF files, and then merge all of those PDF files into one PDF file. Stop thinking what you're thinking. I understand that you can read the help files in the console or online. Got it. If you look at the website article, It'll give you a little bit more of what my thought process is. The short of it is, I hate looking at the help in the console. PDF is just easier for me. I like to highlight and comment and put bookmarks in. Uh, if you have a full version of Adobe Acrobat, you can do that same thing. Otherwise, you could probably use a couple of these functions to uh, convert a bunch of other files to PDF in mass. Anyway, on with the show. All right, so first function here, export PS help. So all we're doing here is simply, well, for the demonstration purposes, I'm only going to get the help for the Active Directory module. The code on the website will have this code in it, so it'll get all the modules available on your local machine, iterate through those modules, and get help for each commandlet. But for time purposes, I'm only going to illustrate how to do it with Active Directory. And obviously you can keep this to if you want to do it one by one. So all we're going to do is get the module name. We're going to loop through that module and get all of the commandlets. Well actually the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to create a folder called in this case Active Directory but it's whatever your module name is in my file path. The file path is a parameter that I will pass to the function. Then we're going to iterate through or loop through the module, get all of the command names. Then we're simply going to export the, the help, the full version of help. Obviously you could replace this with detailed or examples if you want to do examples. And we're going to put it all into a text file with the commandlet name uh, dot text. So let's load this into memory. All right, before I do that, there is C scripts help. As you can see, there's nothing in it. Now, depending on your machine, this may take a while. It may not take a while. If you're using older versions of PowerShell V2, you may have to import the module before uh, this will work. I'm using 5.1, so it auto imports the module. All right, so it's still thinking. So it created the folder already. It's done. So there is a text file for each commandlet and it's simply what you would see on the console in exact format etc etc okay so we have text files next thing we're going to do is convert those text files to PDF so I have a function here convert to PDF this function requires the iTech sharp library uh, I'm using 5.5.10 if you're using older versions, uh, it may cause errors. You may also have to set the execution policy to allow uh, it to be loaded. So this function is going to take three parameters. File path, which is where are all your text files that you want to convert. What type of file you want to convert. So in my case, it'll be TXT. And then what is the path to your iTechSharp DLL file? All right, so before the script starts, we're going to try to add that type. So load that DLL file. If it doesn't load, it's going to throw an error, this error code. Once that is loaded, we're going to get into the meat and potatoes of the script. So we're going to set text files. We're going to get child on them, look recursively inside whatever path we give it. And we're only going to filter whatever file type we uh, pass to the function. And then all we're going to do is look through that path look for everything with a text and we're going to convert it to a PDF file with this naming convention. Now all of this stuff is the basic iTech Sharp. Uh, this is how you use iTech Sharp inside PowerShell. This is a very very basic implementation of iTech Sharp. There's a whole lot you can do with uh, that .NET library. Uh, since I'm only converting just regular text to PDF this works just fine. Now, if you're trying to convert documents with uh, images and all that kind of stuff, it may be different. So you'll have to dig into the uh, iTex Sharp help. All right, so let's load this one in. A 
convert to PD PDF file path same file that I dumped all the text files in file type what am I going to look for so just a string txt no dot txt just txt and my DLL path where did I have this I text sharp there it is I text DLL well, it helps if you type the word scripts correctly that's more better all right so this is what it'll do as it's converting each text file to PDF and here you can see as it's actually working and this is what the text or the PDF file looks like essentially the same as the text all right it is done I'd say it took probably I don't know 45 seconds maybe a minute to convert everything in the Active Directory module to a PDF okay so now we have our PDFs now I want to take all of these and put them into one PDF file so I created another function using the same iTech sharp library called merge dash PDFs alright so we have a file path parameter and a DLL path and that is really it for this uh, I did get some of this code from this website same uh, try catch for the DLL just to error make sure it uh, loads it correctly here we're just looking in the file path for all the PDF files and then this is all the code to merge all the PDFs they're all going to be dumped in the same file path with this file name obviously you could change that however you want to do it uh, the code on the website will also include another script and I didn't put it in a function but it'll basically so if you do this for all your modules you're gonna have a f help folder with a hundred different modules worth of help files in it script on the website has a loop built into it so you give it C scripts help it'll loop through all the folders recursively and dump a file in each uh, folder after it merges them all alright so anyhow Oh, and for that loop to work, so this piece I put in here just to delete any empty uh, folders. So if you have custom, like DSC resources, it'll create a folder when you export the help, but there'll be nothing in it. So that's kind of why I put that there. All right, Control A. Yep, that's all right. Nope, it's not. Now it's right. All right, so that was pretty quick. So you saw how quick that was. That's 1,400 pages in a PDF file in like a second. I actually did this with all the help. It created like a 25,000 page PDF file and it took maybe two seconds. Maybe that's because this is just text. I don't know. Maybe it's just because the iText Sharp library is pretty good stuff. All right, that's it for today. Pretty simple. Export help, convert them to PDF, merge the PDFs. All three of these functions, in addition to the other code I spoke about, will be on signalmore.com. Take it and use it however you see fit. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, a like, subscribe, share it with your buddies, etc., etc. And I will talk to you the next time.